Hey, good day to you. This is Todd. I'm just a regular dude walking in the Word. Hey, thanks for joining us as we are going through the book of Galatians right now. We're starting chapter 5 today of Galatians. Um, Galatians, um, we've talked a lot about grace in, in the um, initial chapters there. And now Paul is kind of taking, a, he's transitioning to more some practical things. Um, uh, he, still, he still will talk about grace, naturally, but he's um, all talking about some other things. He, he still deals with grace today, though, okay, and and dealing with the law, because that was a big hang-up. That's why he wrote the letter, remember, because the people, uh, there was, you could say cults, really, um, teaching that you needed to not only have God's grace, but you also needed then to have the law to be saved. Okay, and Paul's that's the reason he wrote the letter is to say, no, that's not true um, at all here. So today we're going to read chapter five, verses one through six, and it's called, uh, Why Do You Desire the Chains of the Law? So let me read here. Um, you can follow along in your Bible like I am here. It says this, it is for freedom that Christ has set us free. Stand firm then and do not let yourself be burdened again by the yoke of slavery. Slavery is a yoke. Um, it, it's uh, it's chains. And so I'm going to show that you today. Sla slavery is represented by chains. And so we're going to have the chains. The chains are going to be up here. So that represents um, slavery and, and because it's chains. And the once you got rid of the law or were free from the law, you were free from the chains of, of that. Um, so, like, why would you go back to that? But let's keep reading here. Um, it says, uh, so, verse 2, Mark my words, I, Paul, tell you that if you, you let yourselves be circumcised, Christ will be of no value to you at all. Again, I declare to you, every man who lets himself be circumcised, that he is obligated to obey the whole law. You are trying to be justified by the law and have been alienated from Christ. You have fallen away from grace. For though the Spirit, through, for through the Spirit, we eagerly await by faith the righteousness for which we hope. For in Christ Jesus, neither circumcision nor uncircumcision has any value. The only thing that counts is faith expressing itself through love. Okay, so let's talk about this. Circumcision was like, and and I got this idea from uh, J. Vernon McGee. Circumcision um, was like the the badge of the law. Okay, so if I was like fully involved with, I got to obey the law. Um, circumcision would be that thing. So I have my badge here. So I'm going to put that badge on here. Um, th that's showing that I, I'm like obeying the law. Okay. And that was their badge. So if you talk to someone, obviously, and, and if you don't know what circumcision is, go Google it, because uh, I'm not going to tell you. But uh, it's it was like a thing that if you were, um, uh, if you ask someone, are you circumcised or uncircumcised? And if you said, I'm uncircumcised, the Jewish people would go, oh, you, you stay away from me, you know. Um, but we have that freedom in Christ. And it says right here, it being circumcised or uncircumcised, it doesn't matter, according to to Jesus. Okay, uh, our salvation is not based on circumcision. Okay, so but what was happening was, the people they had the badge of circumcision, and so they would say, um, "Hey, I, I you know I, I'm I'm saved by grace, but also I have my badge of, of circumcision." You know, and. So let me ask you this, and, and the chains represent the slavery also, okay? So let me ask you, when, when I get to heaven, and, and I'll use this uh, hypothetical uh, illustration here, I'm, I get to heaven, and Jesus says, hey, why should I let you into heaven? And I can say, well, because I accepted you into my heart, and I'm saved by grace, um, your grace, uh, because you died on the cross for me, okay? And Jesus goes, oh, okay, good, good. Uh, that's it? Yeah. Come on into heaven. And I go, oh, wait, wait a minute, wait a minute. One more thing. Um, also, because you've also saved me by faith, I also have my badge. See? Here? I've been circumcised. And I have obeyed the law. Okay? I have, And in fact, I have my chains. I have my chains to show 
that I have obeyed the law. I, and I, um, I know I'm set free from the law, but I still have the law. I've, I've, I, I got the law. And so I, this will help me get in. And Jesus says, Jesus is going to let you know, what, why, why are you bringing the badge up and why are you bringing the, the chains up? To get into heaven, you're saved by grace. You're not saved by grace and other things. And here I am going to heaven and I want to add this to it. Jesus is going to look at me like, uh, you're a crazy man because I died for your salvation. Okay. And so the law, and remember we talked about the law, this, the law is there to guide us to Jesus. Okay. It is not Jesus. It is not salvation. It is there to guide us to salvation. And so, um, anyway, so if, if I get to heaven and I, I go, hey, Jesus, I got my chain and I got my, I got my badge, you know, because I've obeyed the law. Well, technically, I have not obeyed the law. There's no way I can totally obey the law. And, um, and I want to add that to salvation. Jesus is going, I am the only way to salvation. There's no other way to salvation. It's not Jesus and this, Jesus and that. Okay, it, it's only Jesus um, is the only way to salvation. Okay, so quit adding the law to it. All right, is is what's going uh, it's coming out. Okay, so hopefully that helps you understand. I am saved by my by salvation by grace in Jesus. This doesn't matter. Okay, me being circumcised or uncircumcised, it doesn't matter. And the law, the slavery of, of the law doesn't matter okay uh, it's only saved by grace thanks for watching i'm just a regular dude walking in the word i look forward to talking with you tomorrow as we continue our journey through chapter five of galatians lord's blessing i'll see you then